Hi, it's Dark Mark here. I'm under the glittery lights of the Vista Theater, which is having its 100th anniversary screening. It just reopened after three years, and Quentin Tarantino is here. Of course, I was talking to somebody and I missed it, but he did walk in, did not sign any autographs, but I'm here with a lot of autograph seniors, and they got somebody's autograph. I don't know who it is, but I'll find out. The 30th anniversary of True, True Romance, and that's what they're screening tonight. Although they're putting everybody's phones in bags so that you can't move like a 30 year old movie. I'll go over the history of the Vista Theater, which is a great theater. I've seen shows here down the street from my chateau. It's a star studded night. Check it out. The history of the Vista Theater actually goes back farther than 100 years because the grounds that the theater was on was used in the historical film Birth of a Nation in 1915. So the theater was built in 1923. and has an Egyptian theme, as you can see by the artist's rendering here. It was not originally called the Vista Theater. It was called the Bard's Theater. And... Here is a shot of the premiere of the Bard Theater. That's a lot of people going to this place. And then after it opened, shortly after it opened, apparently there was a safe in the theater and thieves broke in and blew the safe and stole a lot of money from the Bard's Theater. Apparently, even 100 years ago, they had looting and crime. And in the 40s, they had a revival screening of Birth of a Nation, which is exactly where that film was shot, or some of it was. Is everybody looking for Tarantino's autograph, or is there somebody else? Oh, this is great. Every time I point a camera to one of the autograph people, they go right from me. That's great. You ever see a movie here? Oh, it's great. It's What's, huge. It just reopened, right? It just reopened, but I saw it before it reopened. Like, the place is, like, huge. It's, like, 400 seats. When did they close it? Like, 2020, like, during oh, the really? pandemic. Yeah. So they had, like, uh, they had a, an old Godzilla movie they showed here. It was yeah. great. And I saw it once upon a time in Hollywood and here. The new Godzilla movie looks good, man. Yeah. I'm ready to see that. I saw once a time in Hollywood here. It was great. And, uh... Yeah, so, uh, but, yeah, they closed it during the pandemic. It's, it's been three years. So you trying to get Tarantino on camera, or...? I'm trying to get something. So the Bard Theater was renamed the Vista Theater in the 1940s. And they seem to do pretty good business, uh, charging 20 cents plus tax. That's how much it costs to see a movie in those days. In the 1960s, and then started showing adult films. Kids, there were no cell phones then, so people had to go to the theater to see adult films. And... I'm not sure why or how or when, but it went from a heterosexual adult film house to a gay adult film house sometime in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> In 1980, the Vista was bought and was remodeled and no longer was an adult film house, but they were showing revival movies. This is before videotapes, so there were movie theaters that were there just to show old movies because that's the only way you could see them again, if not on TV. But that's the only way you could see them on a the big screen. Man, look at the movies they were showing in 1980. 
That looks like a great lineup. I've had this for like 10 years, man. He co-wrote this with Matt oh. Wagner. Oh, the Django and Zorro. And I'm a big comic guy, man. And I, I'd have the leg up on like all the comic book people if I had them on this shit, you know? Yeah, I hope you did, yeah. man. If he was to autograph that, how much would that be worth? Man, it's a fucking, it's, it's mine, man. That's no, okay, so you're not even doing it for money. No, dude. Because you know they are. Yeah. Well, every comic I get signed, usually it's, that shit's just mine. That's right? cool, yeah. The Vista's been featuring a lot of movies. The first one, this is a still from the movie Standing Pat from 1928, which stars the ton of fun comic trio of Fatty Alexander, Fat Carr, and QP Ross. Obviously, that wouldn't go over now. And here's a shot from the movie The Crooked Web from 1955. In the 1980s movie Throw Mama from the Train, Danny DeVito goes to the Vista Theater, and this is a still from that movie. In the movie The Big Picture with Kevin Bacon, they have a shot of the Vista Theater showing the odd double bill of Tess and Hardly Working. If you know what those two movies are, you definitely know how incongruous and funny this is. In Get Shorty, John Travolta plays gangster turned movie maker Chili Palmer, and he goes to the Vista Theater. This is what the inside looks like. Maybe the most famous scene filmed in the Vista Theater was in Scream 2, the beginning where there's a murder and all hell breaks loose. I remember this well. I remember seeing this in the theater, not the Vista Theater. The Woody Allen movie Cafe Society, which I have not seen, apparently is a period of piece, so they did an old-style theater, so they filmed it at the Vista. Well, before streaming, we actually had to buy records and CDs, and they had cover art, and I remember this album. I had this one. This is Suicidal Tendencies, the cover of their album, Lights, Camera, Revolution. And, of course, the movie that everybody's going to see, True Romance, Christian Slater takes Patricia Arquette to a Sonny Chiba Street Fighter Marathon at the Vista Theater, and she falls in love with them. Only real life was like the movies. But he did he come in? Yeah, he came in. Oh, we missed him. Damn it. So the Vista was doing well. Even superheroes would come to see movies. Here's Captain America. Big movie fan, that captain. So the pandemic hit three years ago in 2020, and the world stopped. And so did the movies at the Vista. All they had in the marquee was this that said, to be continued. Quentin Tarantino bought the theater in 2021. There was a big press release. And then nothing really happened for a year. They started doing some construction. They stripped the marquee. I would drive by this every day and, and just wonder what was happening to the Vista. It was ever going to reopen. Uh, earlier this year, they had stripped all the paint. This is about the summer of 2023. Fixing the marquee and getting it a little closer to where it should be. Had it all together. And it came together really quick. Just before this opening, and the theater looked like it used to be. So I'm trying to, well, I'm trying to get an interview with the creator of Scott Pilgrim. So oh, good for you. I talked to him yesterday. He said, "Yeah, email me." And then that's cool. My girl's gonna give him. My girl's over there right now. Right. I'm over here, so she's gonna give him my my card. See, so. that's that. That's what I got to get as a girl. That helps. Well, well I was kind of <laughs> hoping she was gonna be here. Looking, she'd be over there. I'm over here, and we. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, you see that? You need two girls. That's what you need. Oh, that's what I got to do. Uh-huh. Everyone needs two girls. Well, I'll bet, I'll bet you got two girls, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, they're on the team. We're going to collect this all over here. Just make sure they're all four. Uh, 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 Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Try again. 
We'll give you a little one bottle. All right, there you go. We're all good.